what's poppin' people, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan, I hope you lot are doing well. Welcome to today's video, which is another Chelsea transfer news video. Now, ever since the transfer ban appeal was successful and the ban's been lifted, Chelsea are free to splash the cash, they got loads of cash, stories are coming out left, right and centre, things are getting exciting and the January transfer window is coming ever closer. You could bet your bottom dollar that Chelsea will indeed do business this winter. And I think, due to how shaky things have become all of a sudden, Roman Abramovich, Marina Granovsky and the whole gang are going to be looking to give Frank Lampard a bit of dosh to do some bits. So it's incredibly exciting and I've got a couple of big ones for you today in terms of news story. First one being, Chelsea servant, I was going to say long time servant, but Pedro Rodriguez is looking like he'll leave the club in January. He's getting on now and he's basically got an opportunity to continue playing Premier League football and that's at Aston Villa. You can imagine John Terry would have something to do with that. Dean Smith wants to bolster his attack. Pedro can score goals in the Premier League. Makes sense to me, we'll get into that in a little bit. Also, Chelsea have been linked to strikers of late. Michy Batshuayi doesn't quite look to be doing it. Although Tammy Abraham does look like the man, he's still young and he needs to be challenged and Frank Lampard needs an alternative. Especially with Olivier Giroud looking like he can't offer anything to this particular team and he might even go in January. So Chelsea being linked with strikers and the latest striker to be linked with is a pretty Galactico level centre forward. He plays in a similar attacking direct team of RB Leipzig. Yes, that's right, it's the young German centre forward Timo Werner. Now this would probably worry Tammy Abraham because it's not like a sort of middle tier young striker to sort of play in other games and challenge him. Timo Werner would expect to be the number one or certainly fight for it. I'm going to get into that a little bit more. Before we do get into the transfer content guys, remember to subscribe to Football Therapy. If you've not yet subscribed, click the subscribe button, bell notification icon after that, and you know what follows? Like the video, man. Thanks a lot. Also, you sitting there watching this video, make sure you click the link in the top of the description to go watch me play FIFA. Subscribe to Yam Plays. It's really funny. I want you guys to get involved because I read all your comments and you help me along in the career mode and it's just interactive fun. Do it. Right then, let's get into the video. Let's start with Pedro Rodriguez. He's a funny one, Pedro. I've talked about him a few times with Football Therapy. He is, he's been good for Chelsea, man. He's been a consistent player. I think he's got a goal contribution like roughly every other game throughout all competitions. Bearing in mind, he's not a centre forward and also he's an industrious player. He'd scamper about pressing. Remember, he's of the school of Barcelona, as in Pep Guardiola's coaching. He knows the 4-3-3 backwards. He knows how to just run about and hassle people. And to be honest, he dealt with the physicality of the Premier League pretty well ever since Chelsea signed him. So his record's been good, his industry's been good, and 2016-17 Pedro was pretty elite for Chelsea. When Chelsea had that front three of Pedro, Diego, Costa and Eden Hazard, people called them the PhD, you know, when the MSN was running around. Pedro, Hazard, Diego, PhD. Anyway, I digress. I'm just letting you know that Pedro's been pretty good for Chelsea. He won't be remembered as a hero, I don't think, particularly, but history will be kind to Pedro when you look back at his statistics and his time at Chelsea, and indeed, what he's won with Chelsea. But it's no secret that the Spaniards' time at the top echelons of football might be coming to an end, certainly at the top level. He hasn't played for Spain in a little while now, and really he's been our favourite Chelsea for a little while. He's looking like a fourth or fifth choice winger, and really he doesn't want to start, you know, cup games and in the first round against League Two sides, and he has an opportunity to play some good football. Apparently Dean Smith wants him at Aston Villa and is looking to get him in January. Pedro will only have six months left on his contract and although Chelsea would still fancy to make decent money on him if you know they sold him to China they'd probably still make like 10 million on him or something crazy considering. Or even if they just sold him to a big club somewhere else in world football they could make a few quid but Aston Villa are looking to acquire the Spaniard for a really low price. Due to Chelsea's relationship with Aston Villa, I'm not just talking about John Terry, I'm talking about obviously loaning Tammy Abraham, Dean Smith being a 
all-round good guy and probably knows Chelsea Football Club a little bit, it looks like a deal can be struck between the two to get Pedro to Aston Villa. Obviously, Pedro's played with John Terry as well and they'll have a relationship and John will probably be on the blower to Frank Lampard saying, look, mate, you're not playing him. Can we have him for a little bit of money? And look, now the transfer ban is lifted. You can get someone else in to, you know, replace him. I think Frank Lampard and indeed Chelsea's intention is to get a wide forward attacking winger player in. And to be honest, the fact how Mason Mount can play on the left, you know, they've still got Hudson Adoy, Pulisic, and Willian. That's four wide options that are probably ahead of Pedro Rodriguez at the moment. So it makes sense. It makes sense for Pedro, it makes sense for Frank Lampard, it makes sense for Chelsea, and it makes sense for Aston Villa. Maybe not as much for Chelsea because they could sell him elsewhere. But like I said, it would be nice to think there's a good relationship between Aston Villa and Chelsea Football Club. So watch this space, but if he does go, thank you Pedro, you've been a great servant, and hopefully with your Rexit we'll bring a new Galactico level young star, like who knows, Hakim Ziyech, Jaden Sancho, Neres or whatever. So Timo Werner, the young Germanic centre forward who can't stop scoring. To be honest, if you look at the sort of elite young number nines over the last even couple of years, Players have come and gone, like Bellotti, I know he played for Torino and he wasn't, it's not a great, great team, but he was a hot like topic for a while and faded out. There's been a couple of others. Piatek is another one that maybe fizzled a little bit. But in terms of number nine, Timo Werner has been excellent for a while now. He's still very, very young, and I imagine he's a target for a lot of clubs in world football. The young number nine has actually been on fire this season and has already got 15 goals and 5 assists in just 11 Bundesliga appearances. That works out to a goal involvement every 58 minutes, which obviously is absolutely insane. You know, if a striker gets a goal every other game, that's generally good, that's 180 minutes. If they get a goal every, you know, 140 minutes, great, 100 minutes, great, 90 minutes, great, but a goal involvement with assists for every under an hour, that's insane. I know they're top of the league, Leipzig, or near, or they're about like second or third or something, but still, they're not playing for Bayern Munich. This is a young attacking direct team, very, very similar to Chelsea Football Club. I think, personally, Timo Werner will gobble up chances at Chelsea and score loads of goals. Oh, correction, Timo Werner has 14 appearances, not 11, but still, the goals Involvements, minutes to ratio still stands under an hour. Insane. Meh. Six man of the matches as well. Six! Werner already has a wealth of experience in the top flight and is only 23 years old, so he's probably a matter of months older than Tammy Abraham. Now, imagine if Chelsea had two strikers, Timo Werner and Tammy Abraham. Pretty elite, right? They could swap constantly, you know, one comes off the bench for the other. Within 90 minutes, one plays Champions League, one plays Premier League. Who knows? Both on the pitch at the same time, at certain points. Very, very exciting prospect, but it does pose the question. How would Tammy Abraham feel about that? He's wearing the number nine shirt. He's the main man at Chelsea. He's done very, very well. Even when he hasn't scored in a game, for example, against Everton, he was making the right runs. He's got the right attitude, ethic, work rate. He's got it all to be Chelsea's main man. It's just, I guess it's someone else to push him. Timo Werner could be pushed wide as well. And that's something to think about. Frank Lampard did toy up with playing a diamond in pre-season for Chelsea but he didn't really have the strike partnership between Tammy and Michy. It didn't really work. Could that work with Timo and Tammy? And let's be honest, just to be able to say Timo and Tammy, surely that's worth a 70, 80 million transfer fee. That's another thing, isn't it? How much would it cost to bring Timo Werner to Chelsea? Especially in January. So there's lots of things to consider, but you can understand why Chelsea would want to go for this player. Really try and get an elite strike force Chelsea had struggled for such a long time to get a prolific number nine. They seem to have one in Tammy Abraham and they want to basically double down and go in hard. Kind of like makes sense, even if you do feel it might look unfair on Tammy Abraham. Strike while the iron's hot, you know, you're good, get more good, yeah? For me, it's a difficult one to say. People are saying that he's being linked for a January move. That for me is similar to Ben Chilwell. He's 
on for an unlikely but maybe a title challenge with Leicester, why would you leave that in January? Same with RB Leipzig, they could absolutely win the Bundesliga this season with Timo Werner leading the line and he could win the Golden Boot, score loads of goals. Why would you want to ruin that in January? Still, I'm just reporting from stories from the media to you guys and we can only speculate from here, but he's an absolute player. Chelsea do want to spend money and I imagine the interest at least is real. Anyway, what do you guys think? Get down in the comments below. Let me know how you feel about Pedro Rodriguez. Do you see him as a positive story in Chelsea's recent history? Are you sad to see him go? Do you think it's inevitable? Do you think he can offer anything to Chelsea? Also, what do you think about Timo Werner? Do you think it would be a waste of money? Do you think it would be an unfair purchase in relation to Tammy Abraham being Chelsea's number nine? Let me know, get down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video today guys, make sure you do like the video and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter, that's at Football Yannick. Do go subscribe to Yan Plays and support my sister channel where I play video games and have a lot of fun and chat to you lot who teach me how to play FIFA better, hopefully a little bit more every day. Make sure you do subscribe, link is in the top of the description. That's it from me you lot, you enjoy the football, check out Football Therapy every day, I'll keep you updated, I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me,